Dozens of Palestinians have been injured during clashes with Israeli forces and illegal settlers throughout the occupied West Bank, including East Al Quds, where Israeli extremists staged a hugely controversial march. This year's march was reportedly partaken by around 25,000 settlers, who were being accompanied and protected by Israeli forces. The settlers were heard chanting Islamophobic and anti-Palestinian slogans such as death to Arabs and Shirin is dead, referring to veteran Palestinian journalist Shirin Abu Agala, who was assassinated by the Israeli military earlier this month. The Israeli settlers forced their way into the Al-Aqsa Mosque compound performing religious rituals there. At the same time, Palestinians held counter-rallies across the occupied territories, waving Palestinian flag and chanting anti-Israeli slogans. In Ramallah, the protesters said, although the Al-Quds is occupied by Israel and surrounded by military checkpoints, it will always remain their eternal capital and the Al-Aqsa Mosque will always be a Muslim sacred site. Palestinian resistance movement Hamas has warned that the so-called flag march in occupied East Al-Quds is a grave provocation against the Palestinian people and the Arab and Islamic nations, stating that the resistance will not hesitate to perform its duty of defending Palestinian sanctities and people. The Palestinian Ministry of Foreign Affairs and Expatriates has condemned the Israeli settlers' latest raids on the Al-Aqsa Mosque compound in the occupied old city of Al-Quds, saying the Tel Aviv regime is fanning the flames of religious tensions by allowing such incursions into the holy site. Also, Iran has condemned the Israeli forces' desecration of Al-Aqsa Mosque and their attacks on Palestinians there. Foreign Ministry spokesman Said Khatibzadeh warned against Tel Aviv's latest adventurism and provocative moves. He praised Palestinian people's resistance against the regime and recalled the Palestinian cause of the top priority of the Muslim world. He said all freedom-seeking people around the world, especially the people and governments of Muslim countries, have a duty to join hands to wholeheartedly defend Al-Quds and stand up to the apartheid Israeli regime. The spokesman also called on the international community and organizations to fulfill their legal responsibility by stopping Israeli atrocities against Palestinians. The idea of a national Israeli day is a sign of a group of uh, colonists living in the past. They think they are living a century ago. It is a disgrace in today's world, of course, where we are supposedly past the era of colonialism, uh, rejecting the idea of apartheid, and the responsibility for this, of course, does lie on the colonists themselves, but it also lies on the sponsors of that colony. There would not be a apartheid colony in Palestine today were it not for the fact that many of the NATO states, in particular Britain, France and the USA, are the sponsors of this colonisation, this apartheid. Um, the situation would be resolved a long time ago if those NATO sponsors had not been supporting this regime for so long. The Al-Aqsa Mosque compound, known to Jews as the Temple Mount and located in the occupied old city of Al-Quds, is a flashpoint. Under a 1967 deal between Israel and Jordan, the compound's custodian, non-Muslim worship is prohibited at the site. In defiance of the agreement, Israel allows settlers to enter the site and carry out religious rituals. Recently, there has been a sheer escalation of atrocities by the Israeli regime against Palestinian worshippers at the Al-Aqsa Mosque compound. Outraged by the Israeli aggression, Palestinian resistance groups have intensified their operations throughout the occupied territories. The clashes in Al-Quds had sparked fears of another armed conflict similar to an 11-day war in May last year between Israel and Gaza-based Palestinian resistance groups, including Hamas. But they don't understand really that the resistance that they provoke is the main reason why that regime is going to fall. Uh, the first reason that apartheid is going to be dismantled in uh, colonized Palestine is because the resistance has been so persistent, so steadfast and so constant. The second reason is the delegitimization of this apartheid colony internationally. It is repulsing already people around the world. It's even repulsing many Jewish people. Some around the world could argue it's only a flag parade and nothing more, but for Palestinians, the flag march is one ugly face of Israel's occupation. For Palestinians, Al-Quds is a red line and they will always defend it with all means possible.